What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today is part two of my bedroom makeover and I'm so excited to share this video with you guys because it came out so, so good. I'm going to insert a quick clip or picture of what it used to look like and a little sneak peek of what it looks like now and I cannot wait. I can't wait for you guys to see this whole transformation because you're going to absolutely love it. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and yeah, let's go. So I was able to find this tray at Marshall's and I got it for $15. It was originally $16.99 but since it was broken, like, well, hold on, where is it? Right there. Since that was broken and like around here, I don't know if you guys can see all that that was all broken so I was like can't give me a discount so she did and I took it for $15 which I'm happy about sorry about my dog I mean not my dog my neighbor's dog <laughs> barking um, but now I'm going to spray paint this black and we'll see how it turns out when you're spray painting make sure that you are doing very thin even coats the spray paint dries pretty fast so you'll be able to reapply fairly quickly the only reason why I highly suggest doing thinner even coats is because you do not want those teardrop <laughs> looking paint marks on the tray. So I found these curtain rods at HomeSense and I was super excited when I found these because they were black, which is exactly what I was looking for, but they also had a hint of gold. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. It's going to tie all the black and gold together. So I was very, very, very happy when I found them. And over here, I am just measuring where I want the curtain rods to go. So I measured two inches out and five inches up. And I did those measurements because I have 94 inch long curtains and that is the height that I wanted them to be. So that's what I did.
So I found this mirror at Hobby Lobby for 40 bucks like two years ago. <laughs> And then I found this shelf at Home Goods the other day for $16.99, which to me is a steal because if you go to Target, those shelves are like between $25 to $36. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna bring it home and I'm gonna put it on my wall because it's perfect. So if my room was slightly bigger, I probably would have put a chair in that corner, but instead I found these really cute baskets that I'm going to be using for my hamper, one for lights and one for darks. So all the pieces that I'm putting on this shelf were either from Michaels or Home Goods. Those two picture frames were $5.99 each, which I thought was great. The plant was $12.99 and the corner flower with the little mini vase was about $3.50 from Michaels and I think it looks so good together. Okay, so pretty much everything on this tray, minus the candle, is from either Marshalls or Home Goods. The candle is from Target. I believe it's called Cedar Magnolia, and it smells amazing. It's in the Magnolia section of Target. Oh, so good, guys. Um, as you know, the tray was $15. The flowers were $12.99, I believe, and that picture frame was $5.99. Okay, so before I actually get the sheets on the bed, I like to put my duvet cover on my comforter. And the main reason why I do that is because if the sheets are already on the bed, then everything starts to get all wrinkled and messed up. And I like my sheets just very crisp and stretched out to the max. I don't like any wrinkles in there. So that's why I put my duvet cover before I put my sheets on. This duvet cover is actually from Pottery Barn and I'm pretty sure that all of Pottery Barn's duvet covers come with this tying feature, which I absolutely love because I used to never want duvet covers because I would always see that other people's 
comforters were getting all like jumbled up inside. But because this came with that tying feature, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so with it. Now I can get with the duvet cover program. Okay, so this is a very simple step that a lot of people forget. Make sure that you're buttoning inwards. I've seen so many people button their duvet cover the wrong way and the buttons are sticking out and I'm like, no, button it inwards. <laughs> so hopefully you guys got a nice little tip out of that. Thank you. 
case you guys were wondering where my bedding is from, it's from a lot of different places. <laughs> So the sheets and the duvet cover are from Pottery Barn, the three euro pillows in the back are from HomeSense along with this throw blanket which I absolutely adore. It was only 20 bucks and the fur pillows and also the lumbar pillow are from I believe either HomeGoods or HomeSense as well. And they were also a steal. I believe I got those two fur pillows for 30 and the lumbar for $19.99. So I thought that it would be a super cute idea for me to have my husband's photo on my side of the bed and for him to have my photo on his side of the bed. Just nice simple pictures next to the lamp. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this transformation. And I also really hope that this video inspired you guys to want to transform a room in your house. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.